For many, school back in full swing probably won't take long for your little ones to get tired of a sandwich. So Andrea Holinger is joining us now to give us some fresh tips on making lunch fun. So we, do, we do talk about lunch, we do talk about sandwiches, but that can get a little old. For adults and kids combined, no question, I mean, these no are question. things that adults will probably find kind of interesting. So what have you done here? You've kind of broken it down in what looks like a, a doable um, way of getting uh, something you could prep the night before. You bet. So I'm really big on more of a bento box style lunch and it's okay. because three things. First, it's fun. When you open up a bento box and there's colors and shapes and textures, it's visually pleasing. Okay. And that's half the battle when we get into getting kids excited about wanting to eat their lunch. Um, the second thing is it's fresh. We can get lots of great ingredients, good nutrition packed in there. Um, thirdly, it's focused. We can get more fruits and vegetables into kids when they're served up in more of a snacky and style And it can way. be calculated like here's their protein here is their fruit you here and you know and you can look at it and go okay I got the I got it all covered absolutely that's exactly it and some of them look like this one over here I think sure. I'm pointing the right one you've got um, like chicken fingers which you can't go wrong I imagine for most kids and that could have been dinner from the night before dinner from the night before so really um, as a protein option this could have been cold chicken breast it could have been fish it could have been shrimp any kind of colder meat again give them a sauce to dip so i just put a little plum sauce here a lot of kids will eat this cold no problem okay so you don't have and to worry about a microwave uh, in the school don't worry or whatever about just that do it at all put an ice pack in there for food safety and again you know Simply putting things like little toothpicks or something can make the total difference in your kid deciding to actually eat their. Does lunch it make? I, I don't back. sound weird about it, but is it a little more of an experience for them? Is totally. that why even with the boxes, you, like you said, you open it up and you're like, oh, there's the grape, and you get colors and you get some variety. You bet. A lot of kids are bigger on like snacky style, where okay. they can have a few of everything. They're just chomping right into some your egg salad sandwich. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't um, sound good to me. I love this. What's going on here too? I like how I love the way it's organized. You bet. So this is more of a traditional sort of um, bento stackable cube that you can get. Okay. Um, and certainly, I'm a fan of just get yourself a big wide container, fill it with whatever container. And put little containers in, in there. Okay. And that way you can keep adapting it for whatever your lunch looks like. Um, if you have something traditional like this, this will all stack together. And what I've got here is just a small little whole wheat pitas. Again, most kids will find the smaller versions more exciting than the big one. I okay. don't know why. It's just how kids work. Um, we've got hummus in there, some cheese. We've got pumpkin seeds, which are allowed in most schools. Um, dried fruits. I put a little chocolate in there. Yeah, of course. You have to have you some have fun. <laughs> and these are some mini muffins my son and I made um, together. And we made a double batch. We put them all in the freezer, and then you can just pop out a couple uh, for school snacks. And this things. one on the on the far end, to me, looks quite fancy. And you're saying, no, 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 it's actually kind of simple, all. but it looks really fancy. You bet. So you can go with a theme. You could do a Mexican theme. This is my Italian-themed bento box. So what we've got here is just a standard stuffed cheese-based pasta. You can buy these in the grocery store. Okay. You can buy them at the farmer's market. Think about things like pierogies that you could put in. Kids will eat a lot of these things cold. You'll be surprised if you ask them. Try it out. Don't be afraid to... Um, experiment. I've got a boccaccini ball here, little grape tomatoes. Again, I've put a little bamboo skewer because it's way more fun That's to eat fun. with that than it is a fork sometimes. I love how you consider some of these traditional. Like I remember a brown paper bag, you'd open up, your bananas bruise the side of the bag and it's kind of, and you're like, oh, my fruit roll up. And you know, it wasn't very appealing. You but you've done an amazing job of really showing how it can be fun. And in terms of packing it, they have cool kind of lunch bags too. Cool lunch bags. It's, it's about finding something that's going to work. Um, you know, the bigger the better, I think, so okay. that you can really fit Get something that stuff that's in a bigger there. container and make sure that you've got the water bottle in there. Of course, a healthy beverage could be something like a milk or an almond milk, soy milk, something to that effect, um, you know, rather than your standard uh, um, sugar loaded pops and, you know, yes, no, a way to break it up. Great S job. Thank small you so much. Small juice boxes, okay. For yeah. more information, <laughs> you can head to healthstandnutrition.com. Great stuff again. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.